It's true that money cannot buy you happiness, but what it can buy you is freedom. Freedom to live your life however you choose to live it. Your financial freedom can be one crazy business idea and one viral video away. And I am here to teach you how you can do the same. Just got to Santorini. Look at this view, you guys. Hey, Body Fo family. So my husband and I are currently in Santorini, Greece. It is such a beautiful island here, and we are so lucky we get to stay here for almost an entire month in Greece. Today, I'm going to be telling you guys how we continue to create passive income while we're on vacation by practically doing nothing, and how essentially this trip is entirely free. Yes, I said it. This trip is free. So if you want some inspiration or want to learn a couple different ways of how we make money and how you can make money as well, then keep watching this video and let's get right into this. We want to share with you guys just not only this for inspiration purposes, but we want to share this with you guys so if you're thinking about starting a business but you're someone that likes to travel, or if you think that having a business means that you are restricted from doing anything or that you're going to be stuck 24-7 working, that is simply just not the case. So if you guys know us, you guys know that we do have a couple different streams of income. The first one that we do is we have our e-commerce store, Baddie Fool. This e-commerce store is promoted through TikTok and I have videos about this business, step-by-step -step tutorials if you guys want to start one like this one yourself on my YouTube channel. So that is the first business that we have. We do ship our own packages. We are not drop shippers. We like to ship out our own packages. So right now we have a family member handling it for us. We were able to kind of train them to do the packages. So they're able to do that. Um, but if I didn't have family, then I would pay a trusted friend or find someone that is able to do them. It only really takes two hours out of their day to go over to our office and to gather the packages and get them out each day. Shipping orders really isn't as complicated as people may think and my family member learned it super quick when I showed her how to do it. I have a whole video about how we ship our products as well on my YouTube channel if you're interested in checking that video out. And right now they're really going every two to three days and we've put on our website that their orders will be shipped every two to three days or four days instead of the quicker shipping times that we typically have when we're home. Even if you do have to pay somebody to do work for you, you're still making profit from that and you're keeping the business going, which is what's very important. We didn't want to close it down completely because we didn't want to lose any customers since we are staying in Greece for almost a full month. So our other stream of income that we have is from our dog's YouTube channel. If you guys don't already know, we make YouTube videos with our dog. She is at home with her grandparents right now and she's living her best life while we're on vacation. But we pre-filmed a bunch of content for her YouTube channel and TikTok that we're able to post throughout this month so we can continue running her YouTube channel and generating revenue stream from that. But nonetheless, as long as these YouTube videos are being watched every day, we're still generating income. So we have that source of income that's coming in from her YouTube channel, really without us doing anything. Even if we didn't have time to create or edit content or to create new content before we left, it would honestly be fine because she has so many other videos that are still accumulating views that are monetized. So we're still getting paid for old videos as well. This is why YouTube is definitely one of my favorite passive streams of income because not only is it fun, not only can it be rewarding, but it's something that no matter where you are in the world, as long as your videos are being watched, you're going to generate revenue stream. I will be posting a video about how we grew our dog's YouTube channel in less than a year to almost 600,000 followers and how we grew her TikTok as well. I'm gonna be posting an entire video about that on this channel very soon for all my dog owners out there or pet owners or basically any niche that just wants to get into doing this as well. We also get paid for TikTok views as well which because we do have a very large account for my dog, we have almost 4 million followers, so our TikTok views also are a stream of passive income for us, as well as now Instagram has released for certain users that they can earn money by using and posting Instagram TVs. So we've been posting Instagram TV videos on my dog's Instagram channel as well, and that has also been a smaller source of revenue for us, but nonetheless, it is passive income. So this whole time, I have been filming and posting TikToks on our business account to also keep the sales going. Honestly, it's been really fun for me. It's not something that I'm stressing out to do and to get done. We're enjoying ourselves, but I, it is something that I really enjoy doing and I make the videos really fun. So it's cool to get them in different settings and to have fun with our audience. And of course, our business, Baddie Fools, 
TikTok also produces revenue stream because we get paid for our views via the creator fund. If you wanna learn how that happens, I have a whole video about that as well. And if you wanna learn how to grow your TikToks account for your business, I also have a video about that and I will leave that one right up here. So one big thing that I wanna talk about today is taxes. So the biggest thing that I love about having our own business is the fact that we are able to do write-offs. You are not always able to do write-offs when you work a nine to five, they pretty much take the taxes out of your check for you. Therefore, there's nothing you can do to per se write anything off or to reduce the taxes that you have to pay. As this trip is used for business, I'm taking videos of our products and we are creating content that we are generating revenue from. This would be considered a business trip, being able to write this entire trip off of our taxes. That means that everything we do during this trip is essentially free. It's free because instead of paying the IRS at the end of the year, we're using this trip as a write-off. Then this trip is almost like a credit towards the taxes you have to pay as a business owner. So in a way, you're basically getting free travel if you're a business owner, if you think of it like this. As long as you're using the trip for business in some way, this is a thousand percent legal. And many business owners use this as well. Obviously, a quick disclaimer, I'm not a tax certified person. I'm not a CPA. So if you wanna talk to them, I do recommend always um, talking to an accountant. Obviously, if you do start your own business, you, don't, you can start it and you don't have to talk to somebody before you start it. But if you see where it's at the point to where it's making over $20,000 in one year or over $10,000 in one year, you definitely wanna start talking to an accountant because your business is gonna going to continue growing. So you want to make sure that you do receive all of the benefits and an accountant does usually charge money, but it is worth it in the long run because they will tell you ways of how you can manage your business taxes and things like that, that you are able to write off at the end of the year and they will assist you with that, which takes a huge weight off your shoulders. But if you're just getting started, don't worry about taxes right now. Worry about making money first and then you can worry about taxes after the fact. Always more rewarding to travel knowing that it's either we pay to enjoy or we pay for things for our business or else we'll owe more to the IRS at the end of the year. It's important to do these things not only for your business to grow because definitely being here has helped us cre to create better content for our personal brands and for our business accounts but that this really gives you a break from life as well and you are able to go home feeling refreshed and ready to be productive again. You really do have to ignore a lot of these negative people that have things to say about business owners not having time to do things because my husband and I, we are so, so blessed that we have what we have today and that we have these businesses because really, if it wasn't for these businesses, we would not be on this trip and not getting this trip like essentially for free with our tax write-offs. And it's just so crazy and just so surreal that all of this has happened in under a year for us. Um, but I wanted to make this video just to show you guys the reality of this for us is the fact that it doesn't matter what you're doing online. If it's creating passive income, that is essentially the key to financial freedom. So if you're somebody that you don't trust anyone with your business or you're like really scared of doing that, one thing I really want to talk about is you just have to think about like what's the worst that could happen if you hire someone to handle your packages for you to ship them out or if you were to get a family member or friend to do them. The worst absolute case scenario is that you would have to refund a buyer or you'd have to send another package out or give them a coupon. That's the worst possible scenario. So when you think of it like that, then it's not as such of a scary thing to leave your business. Because at the end of the day, you have to remember that you cannot always keep an emotional connection to your business. Even me, I get really offended if somebody says something bad about my products or they say something bad about me or how I look in my, like just stupid stuff. But at the end of the day, you have to remember that this is, the purpose that you started this business was to invest your money and to make money. So you do have to kind of release those feelings in order to have a successful business so you're able to grow from there. You can't take it to heart if you have to wind up refunding someone or sending out another package from time to time. It's gonna happen even if you're doing your own packages. My husband and I, we have mix-ups many times, but we don't beat ourselves up about it and we just either send out a new product or we just handle it from there. Even if your business takes a loss or if somebody happened to file a chargeback or things like this, Again, you can't get too upset about it because at the end of the day, it's just an investment. It's not your heart and soul. But of course, being on vacation is so important as well. One of the biggest things that people regret in life is not traveling enough. So my husband and I always make it a priority to travel any chance we get. 
And with the power of having these businesses, we are essentially able to pick up and leave whenever we want, as long as we have coverage for our business. And as long as my husband's parents are able to watch Mika, which of course they love her, so it's no problem for them to do. My husband also had the same mindset of not wanting to be stuck with a nine to five job. And he felt the same exact way that he doesn't want to be stuck to a nine to five coming home tired and both of us coming home tired like what life is that and asking off we also both really love to travel so it is perfect you really do have to find somebody that also wants the same things as you um because if you are with a person that doesn't want to travel and wants to you know have has a good paying job at a nine to five job they may not want to collaborate with you or support you so i'm so thankful that we've had each other to support each other in order to make these businesses work and grow even more than it, as if it was just me running them. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope this video did inspire you to want to start an online business or to want to do anything online that creates passive income. For all my aspiring or dropshippers out there, this would also apply to you as well, especially if you bring a product with you to take videos in this beautiful place or to continue posting TikToks or business TikToks or whatever you decide to do while you're on the road. It all relates to business as you can use this entire trip or any trips in general as tax write-offs. I hope this video helped to inspire you. Of course, if you have any questions, comment down below and I'm happy to help you answer them. Hit that subscribe button for more videos like this one.